Do you feel like we're on Mars? My legs are so tired. <laughs> Spam singles. Kind of reminds me of cat food. It was so good. Super tired. It's a long day today. We took a wrong turn. It was a sad moment to realize. It's so nice out here, as I say every single day. This pass is so steep and the sun is real hot. Oh, he wants to roll on his back. Oh, they carry a lot. It's a cold breakfast that's eating. We just came across a section that looked like it got destroyed by landslide or rock slide or avalanche or something. But there are trees that are just like split in half. It looks like it's coming down from that chute over there. We're at Bubs Creek right now. We just came down from our campsite. It was such a beautiful campsite. We had this amazing view where you can see the center basin, the Bubs Creek area. Um, this morning we woke up early to watch the sunrise and it was just amazing, so beautiful. I packed 6,000 calories per day to split between the two of us, but we just like cannot eat all of it. Our appetite isn't super high and it's just hard to like force feed ourselves. Although I will say the Mound House meals have been delicious. I love them so much. They're so good. They're just really salty. I think one packet is like 80% of your daily value for sodium. So it's kind of hard to drink enough water to offset that right before bed. All these little things that you have to figure out while you're backpacking. But yeah, today is looking really nice. It's super sunny. It's beautiful out here. I think maybe the rain is dying down. Three miles into our hike today, kind of going at a gradual downhill and the terrain's been really easy and nice, kind of spongy because of the rain yesterday. It's a nice walk in the park. Oh, he wants to roll on his back. We were all the way over there this morning. Yeah, the walk through Center Basin and the Dead Meadow, super nice. Lots of good swimming spots, although we did not swim. Bullfrog Lake. Probably not. It looks like a bullfrog because it's actually like two lakes connected by one. How does that look like a bullfrog? <laughs>
So this is actually Bullfrog Lake. And I just love how it drops off on the other side and then you know that there's like this huge valley below it, almost like an infinity pool. Kirsarge Leak. <laughs> I mean, Kirsarge Leak. <laughs> keep, keep saying Kirsarge Leak. <laughs> Kirsarge Lake. Our camp spot for tonight. Currently climbing up Kearsarge Pass. It's hot today and it's only 9 a.m. I think. But this view. This pass is so steep and the sun is real hot. So we came from that side, up Kearsarge Pass, that was in Kings Canyon, and on the other side is John Muir Wilderness. Gilbert Lake, we think. We're getting pretty close to the Onion Valley campground where um, Jim from Independence Inn will pick us up. Lots of day hikers and backpackers coming up the trail today. I guess because it's Saturday and the weather finally cleared up. I had a bloody nose coming down Kearsarge Pass. I've been drinking lots of water, but yeah, I just kind of exploded all of a sudden. Uh, clotted up now, so I'm good to go. I can see the town. Yeah. Independence. Not too far away. Yep. We came from over there, Kearsarge Pass. It's gonna be quite the climb tomorrow. Yep. It is 12:20, and we just got to the Onion Valley campground. There's no shade in this parking lot, but um, shouldn't be too much longer until. Jim picks us up. That was a long descent, which means tomorrow we have a long ascent with full packs. Really looking forward to eating Subway. I think there's a Subway at Independence Inn. It's <laughs> good. We're making a smoothie. Bloody. I got pina colada. I'm so excited. Oh yeah. It's good. It doesn't the, cover at all. <laughs> the, the paper bag they gave me for that beer. It's like specifically for drinking out of.
What day is it? Day seven? Day is... Day six? I don't even know what day it is. Maybe day six? No wait, day seven. I don't know. Well anyway, we um, woke up at 5.30 this morning at Independence Inn and then we shuttled up with another pair of JNT hikers and then started at Onion Valley Campground. We came up to Kearsarge Pass pretty quick, a lot faster than when we descended yesterday because yesterday there were just so many people coming up that we were stopping every several minutes. And now we're hiking towards Glen Pass. I'm looking over Bullfrog Lake right now and it's so pretty. Can you figure out what day, what day it is? We are on our way up Glen Pass. I didn't even know it. I was like, why is it so steep right now? Lunch break before we tackled the pass. There's Glen Pass. Oh, you can hear it all the way from up here. I mean, from down here. Wow, they carry a lot. Yeah, how many pounds do you think that is? Top of Glen Pass. My legs are so tired. It's hard to do two passes in one day. Hey, we made it. <laughs> For the first time, dinner was not is not quite enough, but we also threw away all of our lunches and have just decided to eat protein bars. <laughs> just like left across the path. It's a cold breakfast. It's eating frozen grass. So today is day eight. We camped at Ray Lakes last night. It was really pretty, but we were so, so tired from coming from Onion Valley over Kearsarge Pass, over Glen Pass, and then on our way to Ray Lakes, we took a wrong turn and actually got on the 60 Lakes Trail. We were already just like so tired that it was a sad moment to realize we're off trail. We had a nice dinner and then it was very cold at night. Our tent was very icy in the morning. It was really beautiful though hiking this morning because all the grass had ice on it. We're doing a long descent today and then a long ascent. Another long day. I think we're supposed to do 15 miles and over 4,000 feet in ascension. So we'll see how it goes. We just hit a grove of aspen trees. I love Aspen. I love the way it just twinkles in the wind. Yeah. <laughs> 1.5 miles to the top of Pinchot Pass. I have no idea where it is. I'm climbing up Pinchot Pass. Super tired, but it's really pretty. And the trail's not too bad. Not like Glen Pass. The trail is super rocky. But yeah, it's a long day today. Get over this pass. There's the top 
of the pass. So close. I'm gonna need a Snickers bar. I cannot wait. Snickers cheers. Clink. Yeah. How's it? Well good. We found these in the hiker box along with spam singles which we ate on the way up here. Kind of reminds me of cat food, but it was so good. Oh man, that was so hard. The Snickers is so good. Oh, yeah, it's good. Really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miso soup. Or what's left of it. So good. <laughs> I do feel like we're on Mars. Yeah. Except there's all that water there. Yeah. Breakfast skillet. Alicia's favorite mountain house meal. I wasn't that crazy about it before, but it's pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah. 